What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna talk about some red and black, but it's probably not the red and black that you're thinking of. It's the red and black from Liechtenstein. Yes. And if you know where Liechtenstein is, then you know this brand. Yeah. And if you don't, hey, you better check it out. We have a video where Eric actually went there. Did you go to Liechtenstein? I did. Wow. I did, yeah. So I went to, uh, I was gonna say Sweden, Switzerland and Liechtenstein is actually to the east of it. Wow. So, yeah, it's a really small country, but it's very cool. The whole area over there is really neat. Yeah, very yeah. cool. So what does a, a small country in the middle of Europe have to do with tools? You would not think much, but they probably make, and I know you guys are gonna say I'm a shill or chill, whatever that, that the word is. I don't care. I In the 90s when I did construction, we had the flood in Chicago, and I went down around to different job sites, and I remember being in the sub-basement of Marshall Fields, and Hilti was one of the primary tools, and it was one of the tools that just never broke, never had a problem with, and it just did awesome stuff. I had to get in these big boilers and break them apart, and I mean, all sorts of different things. Hilti has always been reliable to me, and when I went over there and I got a chance to see actually the technology and how they're made, it's like, it blows my mind away because you can see firsthand how they, they don't cut corners. And I'm not saying every company, but there's other companies out there who cut corners because they need to keep the cost down. They need to do certain things. Hilti's like, no. Our stuff is made for big stuff. Our stuff is made to be abused. They build the world. I mean, big things, you know? Yeah, very you good see point. them a lot on job sites. I mean, and they have all kinds of different ways you can purchase the tools, lease the tools. Like Eric was saying in a previous video, you can call someone and the tool has a problem, they'll come out and you get rectified right there no matter what, you know? Yeah, it, and that's the whole point of them not having downtime. And that's the whole point of Neuron. So Neuron is actually a brand new system for Hilti. It's a 22 volt, they've got four batteries off of it. And basically what it is, it's four things. It's all one battery platform. So they have big things like saws that we're gonna show. I'm gonna be cutting my basement open uh, in a couple weeks. Uh, so it's that, it's performance, it's data driven services, and it's really designed around the health and safety too, because that, that's a big issue that was never taken into effect for workers down the road. And now it-, it Right, and one thing that everybody thing. knows about having a super powerful drill is what? torque it'll twist your hands up i mean that hurt, hurts right well this thing has eric says it's called atc what does that stand for uh, i think it's active torque control oh, okay so whenever it detects you know it stops and yeah. i like it because it seems like it's easier to activate than on other drills but yet uh you know because the professionals using this and for a professional to go that far out that's all that means it's caught on something you know yeah and it will yeah and it's not it's very smooth. The whole drill is very smooth. Um, but it's not like if you're using it and you're like, hey, I'm turning my hand like that. It knows that you're turning your hand like that. Right, yeah. And you know what's actually cool, and I'm totally getting off subject. You're going to like this. They've got a grinder out there that's basically got 3D active torque control. 3D? Yeah. Wow, so if it pops back or something? Yeah, it turns, shuts the whole good. thing down, man. It's awesome. Wow, that would be With really grinder, good. Yeah. yeah so we got that. We're gonna show that off, and I want. I want. Yeah. Because oh, okay. I want to get your opinion on it. Because wow. to me, that's the coolest technology. Yeah. You know. So the whole idea of the neuron is the whole one platform. So it's basically four pillars. But I love the performance on it. Um, if you watched the video when I went to uh, Switzerland, you four can. Four pillars. Well, I'm just saying performance. I just call oh, them pillars. Okay. You know what I mean? All right. You're building. sounding a bit salesy there. No, but I'm thinking because of building pillars. You use right. pillars and buildings. That's okay, all I'm yeah, actually okay. doing. You know? right, I like that. So, I like that. Yeah, I don't... Not uh, trying to sound salesy. You know? No, Again, dude. You, you know? I know you like this brand. He loves yeah. it. The reason, you know... I like this brand, it's a great brand. It's, it's the echelon of brands, man. It is the tool brand. If you are getting buildings, you know, skyscrapers, uh, airports, whatever you see, and like I said in a previous video also, when a contractor comes to my house, if he has a healthy tool, I have a sigh of relief because I know I'm dealing with a professional. Yeah, exactly. You know? 100%. So these two of the new tools on the Neuron system is the uh, SF4H22. That's going to be your everyday drill, you know? No um, uh, hammer. Oh, it does have a hammer. Yeah, they're both hammer drills. Okay. But you want a big bad boy, it's the 6F6H22. That thing has what's, got power. What's the difference between the two? Because, I mean, they look identical. So this is gonna get more power, so you're gonna get a lot more torque, but a little bit lower speed. This is your everyday drill, you're gonna get, because you basically your speed and torque are gonna be having an inverse relationship in a way. Um, so the for the SF, you're gonna have, that one's got on speed one, 60, uh, 610 RPM and 2100, as opposed to the 6H, it's 490 RPM and 2000. Wow. So you get a little bit less. But in terms of torque, you got 549 inch pounds of torque as opposed to 752. Wow. So you get a lot more torque. 
So you can see, like we mixed concrete, I've mixed concrete with this. Um, I mean, there's so much, what's so funny? Nothing, I was gonna say that's fascinating. And then it Oh yeah, laugh. fascinating. <laughs> From Vegas. Yeah, inside joke inside on that joke. one. Inside joke, it's yeah, fascinating. Inside joke, fascinating. Um, yeah, so these guys are really like, dude, we didn't get your inside joke. Yeah. Sorry guys, I No, that's just, yeah, you can't help, certain things that come up, you know. Um, but again, I don't know what to say without, and that's the problem, like when I talk to people, like, like that, like I sound salesy, or you guys probably think I'm a what is it, shill? Shill. Shill. What's he's a paid shill. Uh, no, he's what not. is a shill? Shill's someone. It's just who... someone who's just sold out and just you know gets paid to say whatever. There's certain things that I will not do, and like even yeah. when we talk about brands, you guys, and I know we're talking Hilti today, the high upper end of the echelon, but even brands like Ryobi or Heart, you know, I mean some of that stuff is pretty good tools, but this is just like a different realm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, doesn't compare with that. Doesn't compare with Milwaukee. Doesn't compare with Dewalt. This is no. just a different realm. It, I, to me, and I know it's, it's going to make some people mad, but I think it's heads and above like Milwaukee and stuff like that. I do. With the Depending on what you want. With Yeah, but I'm, yeah, exactly. For small You're and compact, get more. you know, this is more power on the job site. It's a better quality. Action. I yeah. truly believe in my heart this is a better quality. It's better stuff. There no, there's not, and I'm not bashing Milwaukee. I like Milwaukee, okay? I like DeWalt. I like those companies. I just feel like you get a better quality. When I saw what they did with the inside of the batteries, when I saw what they did with the inside of the tools, it's night and day because I know the difference of what they do with like Milwaukee and other tools. And I'm not saying every single tool against each other. I'm just saying I like the quality. I, I am so done in this world like buying stuff for it to break the next day or to be cheaply made and I overpaid for something. It's nice to pay for something that just works. And that makes me happy. So if that calls me a chill or whatever, or what is it? Shill. A shill, then whatever. Okay, it Eric's is what not it is. a shill, you guys. But I kind of agree with him too. Just like I was just admiring this whole battery connection system. I mean, it's just tight, you know? It just goes on there and it just feels tight. Look at how Easy big to... those connectors are down there. Yeah. You know what That's I mean? Crazy, Compared man. to other ones out there. Yeah. It's huge. Well, I mean, I don't have another one here. To it does. It allows to, you, the whole thing, like with the copper current. wire braid. Yeah, exactly. You're getting more current through. Bam. Yeah, high five. Look at that, dude. High five. You. Fascinating. Fascinating, you guys. Kick, click, click. Click below. Comment. Let's talk about Hilti. Let's get it going. Uh, I know you guys want to just see him in action. So we're going to leave this video with just tons of action shots for the two people that are left. Peace. For more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.